Hi, Al. Uh, welcome to Racks Infotech. Uh, in this video, I'm going to share you related to the latest uh, Oracle released database version, AI database version is 26 AI. So I'm going to discuss about uh, the difference between 23 AI and uh, 26 AI. And few people may have the confusion, um, 23 AI just before they have released a few uh, months before and again uh, they released 26 AI. So they want to understand this, okay. Uh, so I'm going to give you a clarification between these two and then I'm going to show you how to install this 26 AI appliance on uh, virtual machine appliance. So developer version this is, so if you want to do a little bit of practice about uh, the new features and uh, related to the development or uh, admin related part, okay. So yeah, these two points, these two differences and installation of 26 AI on VM appliance, okay. We do have in different, different uh, versions where, I mean, in 26 AI, different, different methods. You can install in, I mean, uh, Linux uh, 8, 9 also they have released and Windows also they, they have released. So how we are going to install it is, uh, I have posted in my blog, uh, there you can uh, watch it, okay. Okay, guys, let's get started on this part. Uh, the main difference between these two is, uh, they have given some extra features I'll cover these uh, new features 26 AI, which has been uh, some extra features, right? So in our another video, in this video, the major difference between uh, these two is uh, if you apply October 2025 RU patch on 23 AI, the version is going to change to 23.26 version. So this, they name it as 26 AI. So it is not kind of like a major version where 19C and 23 are 18C to 19C or 12C to 19C, something like that. It is not like that. It is inbuilt of, or we can say in synonym of your uh, 26, 23 AI. So they have some uh, features which uh, we are going to discuss, as I said, right? We'll discuss later part. Only thing is, if you apply to October 2025 RU patch on your 23 AI, it converted to 26 AI. And they have given is latest uh, direct version of 23.26, they name it as 26 AI database. So that I think uh, you may have some idea. We will discuss these things in upcoming videos, uh, new features, also, I mean, different ways to install this 26 AI, all those things. Okay, guys. Now, second point for the clarity, uh, coming to this installation, 26 AI and virtual machine, the prerequisite is required. You need to have your own virtual machine. Let me maximize this. Very small sizes, right? Okay. Yeah, we need to have the virtual machine related like this. Okay, Oracle VM Virtual Manager, you can download it from the Google and then you need to install it. This is one prerequisite. Another one is we need to download this uh, developer, database developer, 26 AI, 26 AI database developer uh, virtual uh, software. For this, I'm going to share this in the video description. You can go through this link. It will open this one. It will redirect you this page. This one recently released, like just two days or three days before they have released of this. And uh, the virtual machine, what we are going to download, this uh, 26 AI free version, it has all these components, JDK version, Linux operating 8.10, AI. See here, they did not mention 26, right? They have mentioned it 23.26, it's a 26 AI. Okay, REST services, SQLs, and Apex related. Apex also at 24.2. And the software requirements is required. You need a 4 GB, uh, what do you call, hardware. 4 GB RAM, 20 GB hard disk storage. Also 7 GB, it's around the 6.4 GB software. And that um, you can download and then import it. I'll show you in next couple of minutes. That is one thing. Once uh, you are completed this virtual machine installation, directly come here in this page, click on this button, it will download this .ova file. This we can use directly to this virtual machine that I'll show you how to import. Okay, it's around 6.4 GB. Let me go here and yeah, let me take to any one of the directory. I'll make here a drive. Let me make it 26 AI development version and then paste it. This we can import it. Okay, download portion is done and then we need to import. Once you 
how we are going to do it like file import appliance then choose next 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 this is going to install after that we are going to use uh, that software and then you are going to shut it down if you want that's okay that is a high level guys so it is simple and straightforward it is going to be helpful if somebody is new that's where uh, i'm going to show this or make this video for uh, understanding purpose okay now 26 ai just browse it open here where the file is there that location we need to navigate and then import it click next and here by default it is going to take okay by default it is going to take two cpus 4 gb ram and other thing if you want use more you can use it all these things is by default values and it is going to install in your uh, c drive okay but i don't want to install that in c drive i am going to use the same location where my software is there let me use the same thing and include the same uh, mac details and other things if you want you can generate a new mac addresses and all this is the development kind of one just use go with default values and finish it is going to ask you the license kind of things what you need to do you just agree this and it is going to take a couple of minutes i don't think so it is going to like more than like three to four minutes according to your system speed and uh, yeah system speed itself the OI, i mean resource dependency it is going to import once it is import i'll uh, access that give me a second and then i'll pass it here and then i'll be back it won't take more than two minutes or something okay let it be i don't think uh, i don't need to go with the pass it was almost 56 percent within a minute i think it is going to complete i have like around 40 gb of ram and then hard disk is more than one terabyte so it is not required that much as we shown 4 gb is max sufficient 20 gb storage is sufficient yeah next couple of seconds it is going to finish and then once it is done we can begin use of this it will come here third uh, yes done so 100 percent is completed close this notification here we can see the system 4 gb two processes and uh, yeah this is a virtual memory that's okay here it took 60 gig that's okay 20 gig is more than enough but uh, it picked it up around 58.59 gig okay if you have any issues just comment it below i'll check and then suggest you on that part just click on start button and one more uh, thing is guys even i have not done this uh, before showing to you guys whatever you are seeing i am also seeing the first time even though if uh, we are facing any errors even that is new to me as well okay but only thing is i have an option where uh, if i could say something right some uh, errors and all i have an option to pause it and then i can check that okay jokes apart but uh, as i said right this is the first time even i am seeing in front of uh, while i'm showing to you i'm also seeing the same thing okay let it run let's see waiting for this 26 ai database next few seconds oops it is done wow 26 ai we are in preview is there it is not required i can minimize that also see here free release 23.2 developer learn and run free things a licensing part we already accepted okay and what else go through all these documents like how we need to use this is one thing right how we are going to connect the sql prompt these things are uh, needed actually this we can note it down into your notepad or uh, the word where we are going to use as i said right it is new to me as well i'm just taking back these things yeah we have this appliance as well okay let it be first i'll show you these versions let me check the mounts okay and we will check how many processes it has been it's like oracle os user it took and db underscore sman background process with the free is the or instance name now great and uh, yeah paste this a yeah, system and then password localhost free i'm going to connect it oops done 
successfully connected to our uh, 26 AI database version. Select name comma open underscore mode from V dollar database pre read write mode and select banner from V dollar version. Perfect. See ya, Oracle AI. 26 AI free release 23.26 okay that's all guys uh, from this video I just want to show you even if you want to practice on 26 AI just three days older one it is good right uh, where we are going to uh, learn latest version I'll give you these comments in the chat uh, video description guys that's all from this video guys if you like uh, this content and if you want to learn more related to the latest versions not only the database versions it's uh, e-business suite applications cloud related oracle cloud or aws azure whatever it is just comment it back i'll try to make a video on that content okay this is our youtube channel guys if you like share subscribe to your friends and family okay thank you have a good day